Hi everyone, in this video we are going to solve this double integration but see we are going to solve with the help of suitable change of variables okay so let us write the given integral first what we have i is equal to double integration over s sin x minus y upon cos x plus y dx dy so this is double integration so we need to consider the region s first what is region s let me mention S is a what have what they have mentioned S is the region bounded by parallelogram S is a parallelogram that means the region inside this parallelogram with vertices they have mentioned vertices pi comma 0 2 pi comma pi pi comma 2 pi and 0 comma pi so let us find first this point first okay and then we will find that parallelogram so what they have mentioned here pi comma 0 it is here on x axis 2 pi comma pi 2 pi and pi so the second point will be here right pi comma 2 pi on x axis pi on y axis 2 pi on x axis pi y axis 2 pi so that point will be here right and 0 comma pi x coordinate is 0 that means this point lies on y axis so it is here so yes first point is pi comma 0 so these are four vertices of that parallelogram so i am drawing this parallelogram and it will be like this okay it will be like this so this is rough sketch of parallelogram so let us call it as a this is b having coordinate pi comma 2 pi this is c 2 pi comma pi and this is d okay so this is a parallelogram we have but it's so much important to know equation of these four lines getting line ad line ab line bc and line dc so our first task to find the equations of lines okay so let us find let us find the equation of ab first so equation of ab is so we have the two two end points of that segment getting and we have to find its equation so we have already studied this formula in 8 or 9 standard right so let me write the same formula here so the formula is y minus y1 upon y1 minus y2 is equal to x minus x1 upon x1 minus x2 so you can consider this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 okay let us put the values so y minus y1 is pi upon y1 again pi minus y2 y2 is 2 pi x minus x1 x1 is 0 x1 is 0 minus x2 x2 is pi let us simplify it further okay so let us do that task here y minus pi okay y minus pi divided by pi minus 2 pi which is minus pi x minus 0 is x 0 minus pi is minus pi so we can cancel minus pi from both sides so what will we get therefore y minus pi is equal to x okay i'm going to shift all variables on one side and constants on another side so therefore i'm shifting uh, y there so x minus y is equal to minus pi okay so this is the equation of line so x minus y is equal to minus pi let me write here x minus y is equal to minus pi that's it now we have to find the equation of line bc equation of bc is equation of same formula y minus y1 upon y1 minus y2 x minus x1 upon x1 minus x2 so bc now in this case you can consider x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 getting this is x2 and this is y2 so let us put the values y minus what did i say this is y1 2 pi upon 2 pi y1 minus y2 what is my y2 pi is equal to x minus x1 x1 is pi upon x1 again minus x2 which is 2 pi so y minus 2 pi 
2 pi minus pi pi x minus pi pi minus 2 pi minus pi see my pi pi will get cancelled but still minus sign will be there okay so y minus 2 pi pi you can cancel let me show here pi i am cancelling here but still minus sign is there because of that minus sign this sign will get changed this will be pi will be positive x will be negative so let us shift all variables on one side and constants on another side i am shifting x on this side so x plus y i am shifting 2 pi on that side so it will be plus 2 pi plus pi so x plus y is equal to 3 pi x plus y is equal to 3 pi so let me write here x plus y is equal to 3 pi so i got the equation of second line also in the same way in the same way we can find the equation of cd right so you can consider this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 and in the same way we can find the equation of ad also x1 y1 x2 y2 and we will get the equations of all lines okay all lines so i'm going to write those equations directly just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so i found out the equations of remaining two curves, uh, lines also x minus y is equal to pi this line line cd and ad this equation is x plus y is equal to pi okay so let me mention here clearly so therefore s is bounded by so s means this parallelogram which is bounded by these four lines bounded by x minus y is equal to minus pi second equation x minus y is equal to pi next equation this x plus y is equal to pi and last one x plus y is equal to 3 pi okay so we have to solve this problem with the help of suitable change of variable as i told you earlier right that means we have to put something now the question is what we have to put generally what we do we observe the given uh, question and we try to find a pattern here so you can see easily x minus y x minus y x minus y the same term is repeating three times so obviously i'm going to put it is equal to u and x plus y x plus y x plus y it appears three times so here also i'm going to put x plus y is equal to v let us put putting x minus y is equal to u and x plus y is equal to v so after that the next task is to find jacobian just like in integration when we put something we find its derivative okay that is obviously our next step so in case of double integration when we put something our next task to find jacobian but as i told you in my earlier videos it is sometimes better to find z dash instead of finding z and with the help of z dash i am going to find z okay so let us find z dash so what is z dash z dash is deba u by deba x deba u by deba y deba v by deba x and deba v by deba y so let us find those partial derivatives first and then we will find z dash then deba u by deba x so what is our u u is x minus y we can take separate separate derivatives derivative of x minus derivative of y derivative of x is 1 y is constant since we are differentiating with respect to x its derivative will be 0 1 minus 0 1 now derivative of u with respect to y we want right so what is u x minus y let us take separate separate derivatives okay i hope all of you understood so uh, i will write the next part here okay let us take separate separate derivatives derivative of x minus derivative of y so here x is constant since we are differentiating with respect to y so derivative is 0 derivative of y with respect to y 1 so it's minus 1 now derivative of v with respect to x so what is my v my v is x plus y so here also we can take separate separate derivatives derivative of x with respect to x 1 y is constant so that's why its derivative will be 0 so 1 plus 0 1 last derivative of v with respect to y 
v is x plus y separate separate derivative this time x is constant derivative 0 derivative of y with respect to y1 so it's 1 again let us find z dash so formula is dab u by dab x dab u by dab y dab v by dab x dab v by dab y so u with respect to x derivative 1 u with respect to y minus 1 it's derivative 1 it's derivative 1 1 into 1 1 minus minus 1 into 1 minus 1 minus minus plus 1 plus 1 which is 2 so finally i got z dash now with the help of it i will find z it's quite simple there is relation z is equal to 1 by z dash so it is equal to 1 by 2 so finally i got z okay jacobian now what will i do uh, I'm going to find limits in UV plane region is bounded by in UV plane. Okay, I'm writing the equations in UV plane. So obviously there will be U and V. So we have these four equations. So I'm going to write in terms of U and V. X minus Y, which is U. So I can write U is equal to minus pi x minus y which is u which is equal to pi x plus y is v so it is equal to pi and x plus y is uh, i think uh, there is uh, 3 pi here is 3 pi so v is equal to 3 pi so i got the limits right so now it's very easy to integrate now just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us continue so this is equal to double integration getting sine x minus y which is u upon cos x plus y which is v okay dx dy is replaced by z determinant of z du dv or dv du it's our choice so i have written du first so that's why i'm writing the limits of v first it's minus pi to pi v pi to 3 pi okay so this is equal to pi to 3 pi so sin uh, let me write minus pi to pi sin u upon cos v what is value of z 1 by 2 we are taking its mod but it's positive real number so we can write as it is 1 by 2 is constant will come outside integration pi to 3 pi okay uh, cos v v is there no <clears throat> in inner integration with respect to u so it's a constant we can take it outside 1 upon cos v integration minus pi to pi sin v sorry sin u du dv so we are familiar with one result okay so let me write the result here that result is integration minus a to a f if you have a function like this integration like this minus a to a limits minus a to a just like this one minus pi to pi if the function is even we write 0 to a f for even function and if the function is odd then its value is 0 so as we know sine is an odd function okay cos is an even function sine is an odd function so this sign is an odd function and we are having the limits minus pi to pi. So this result says the value of integration is 0. That means value of this bracket is 0 and 0 into anything 0. So that's why the value of integration is 0. So in this way, we solved the problem, make a screenshot of it, then we'll stop. Thank you. See you.